Uh, my name is Jakob Fabricius. Uh, I'm the artistic director at Kunsthalos in Denmark. Today I presented um, different ways of getting funding from the Danish Art Council. Uh, I presented three ways. Uh, the two-year application um, where you fill in the form on the, online uh, and, and write your two-year program. Uh, you you, you um, either get the funding or not, uh, but basically um, it should show your uh, different um, uh, approaches institutionally, educationally and so on. And also present the artists that you, you, um, that you want to show. Uh, when you get the grant, uh, the um, uh, Art Council doesn't interfere. So you have free hands uh, to do uh, what, you, what you want, basically. And the artists, of course, have completely free hands. Um, and then I presented a, a particular pro project called uh, A Real Danish Family, um, where it was more a project application uh, for a specific public sculpture uh, that's placed permanently in, in Copenhagen. Uh, and then uh, I presented uh, Melt Air, which is like a new residency in Denmark for, for international artists that you can apply for. And where uh, Yun Choi, uh, a Korean artist, she was one of the selected um, artists out of 457. How I, as a, an artistic director, uh, sit in, uh, 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 as a board member for four years with four artists deciding about uh, artist grants in Denmark, uh, which is about uh, 3 million uh, euros um, at, uh, for the artists. Uh, some are small, some are 8,000 uh, euros, uh, some are large, uh, about um, 130,000 euros. Uh, and you get 130,000 euros divided in on three years. Um, and then I talked a little bit about like uh, how different public sculptures are, how the Art Council actually commissions artists to do work uh, in public spaces. Everything from, a, from a, a, a library bus to a police station to a hospital to a school. Uh, so, so like the whole idea of reaching out, not just in the capital, but also in all the small cities.